What's up guys, this is Tony Shu, and today we're gonna talk about the Jordan 4 White Cement Golf. Let's get a shoe tube. So before we dive in guys, I just wanted to give a shout out to Jamal from Soul Savvy who hooked me up with today's sneaker, the Jordan 4 White Cement. I was looking for the sneaker for the longest time, took the L when it first came out because uh, of course Nike's app failed on me millions of times, wouldn't let me put my payments in, and then by the time I actually got everything squared away, sold out. So took the L and hunted and hunted and hunted, waited for every restock, couldn't hit, and thank goodness for Soul Savvy, my man Jamal hit me up, said, hey, I know you're looking for this. I got one for you. And you know what? Where else anywhere in the sneaker community can you have a guy who just because he loves everyone that is into sneakers the same way that everyone in the community does, he said, hey, you can have this retail, no big deal. It's yours. So shout out to Jamal. Shout out to the Soul Savvy community for giving us this platform to be able to help each other out, get the sneakers we want in hand, and is it perfect where we get every single drop there is? No, but it does help every so often when um, you have something that you're really going after, even hitting one of the 10 sneakers that you are hoping for from a, you know, a fellow sneakerhead, just feels good. Feels like, you, you know, there is still some hope left in the world in the sneaker culture, sneaker community, that we can, you know, have what we want at least once in a while. So thank you, Jamal. Appreciate this. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm pretty excited about this, guys. This is going to be a first for me talking about golf shoes. But here we are, the Jordan 4 White Cement Golf. Going over the sneaker itself, it looks just like the original Jordan 4 White Cement. As a lot of us already know, Jordan 4 White Cement, popularized in 1989. One of the original colorways, actually I think it was the original colorway, but Jordan wore this back in that season all the time. He had commercials on it, and it became probably one of the most well-known famous colorways. And that's what you kind of love to see in a golf sneaker that gets, gets retro with Jordan, is that iconic colorway. Now, does it have the Nike Air in the back? No. Are you gonna go crazy over this? I hope not. Uh, me, I just like to have a sneaker. And for this sneaker, everything you see on it looks like the original. Everything about it looks like the actual original color. Obviously, without the uh, golf spikes in the bottom, but it's not here or there. This is what you're looking for when you're a sneakerhead. You love Jordan brand, and you love the sneakers, and you love golf, like myself. I will be playing golf in these, FYI. These are not going on my wall. They're not going in storage. They're not going in cases. This is going on my foot, out to the golf course. What's today? Two days from now. I'm not gonna say what day it is, but people from work are actually watching this, so. I'm gonna be playing golf in these things. Um, what's nice about this is that it is still a golf shoe, so when you touch it and you feel the leather, the leather feels like a typical leather you would have on a golf shoe. What that means is that it is durable. You can feel that it's one of those shoes that is gonna take a lot of wear. So when you're out there on a golf course and you're you know, stepping in mud, dirt, water even, I mean, you can tell with, with Jordan 4s typically, this is, they have this little mesh window here it's a little bit more breathable whereas this one you can tell i mean you can't see through there at all it looks like a pretty much a closed off mesh so leads me to believe that it's probably water resistant you can probably step in some mud get some water on this if you're playing in rain and it probably won't flood your foot 
Now, with that said, it probably won't be as breathable as a typical Jordan 4, but it's a golf shoe. Um, they wanted to probably have something that's a little bit more weatherproof. So that's kind of why you have the, um, the non-breathable mesh. But they had it there for aesthetic purposes because it is supposed to be a nod to the Jordan 4 white cements. Um, but like I said before though, the leather feels like a regular golf shoe leather. It's not that real soft, um, kind of textured, even tumbled Jordan leather, which is usually, by the way, synthetic. It's not, most of the time it's not real leather, but it still looks great. And for what it is, which is a golf shoe, it is really, really nicely built. The actual aesthetic of the sneaker looks pretty much everything like the original Jordan 4 white cement. I'm going to treat this like a golf shoe because that's what it is. It's what it's made for. And that's what it's made as. Every bit of the materials feels like a golf sneaker. The bottom of the sneaker has feels like a rubber or plastic, um, probably to help keep it more durable, keep it from wearing when you're on the golf course, keep it so that it's going to last a little bit longer. If you're playing maybe a dozen rounds in a real classic Jordan 4 white cement, that thing is gonna get destroyed. It's gonna get ruined. The outsole is gonna be beat up. It's gonna get leaks inside of it. You're gonna have a wet foot every single time you go out there and the leather is not gonna hold up. This one feels like the leather is gonna hold up. Um, and of course, we'll probably give you a um, real life update probably in a few weeks from now, maybe a few months from now when I've worn this a few times on the golf course kind of give you guys an idea of how it looks and how it feels and how it holds up but from everything i see it feels like a normal golf sneaker um but it looks like a white cement jordan 4 which is exactly what you want um i love when jordan brand does this with, with the golf sneakers i love when they take old g colorways and class colorways that people love and make them to the golf um you know nothing about this screams golf shoe when you look at it and then once you actually obviously get the bottom and you get in the hand it's a golf shoe so it's pretty much it guys um pretty pretty happy with this so far i'm gonna give you guys a on foot when i'm on the course or if i'm at the driving range give you guys a better idea of what's going on with the actual sneaker how it looks when i'm um, fully kitted out about to hit some balls um, one cool touch about this is on the bottom, you have the jump man right there so that when you're swinging and your foot lifts up, you get the jump man up. So pretty cool little, uh, pretty cool little touch there. Without further ado, let me show you the little on foot. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. What do you think of the white cement golf? Does this look like the original? How does it compare aesthetic wise? Can you tell any differences? Because I personally can't. Maybe one of you guys that has had the original one or the 2016 version can tell me what you think in terms of how those looks compared to the other one. Because I can't really tell. I mean, it, it, this looks identical to me. All right, guys, if you like the video, please hit that like button for future content. Hit that subscribe. And until next time, see ya.